Hello and welcome to the Avalon Ship Movement and Navigation Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will cover the basics of moving the Starship as well as navigation. Okay, so the way to move the Starship is two different ways. If you press this button here with the mouse, I, or you can press I on your keyboard, it'll show you optional keep all controls which will all do the same thing is what this panel here will do okay but for the uh, sake of this tutorial I'm gonna mostly just use this panel here and we will move the ship and I will explain how it all works okay so first of all left thrust will move your ship to the left it'll be a left turn maneuver so I'm gonna press this now and notice I have hundred and fifty fuel points here so when I press any kind of turning maneuver either left or right it will expend one fuel point so I'm gonna press this right now and we'll begin a left turn maneuver the ship will start turning left counterclockwise okay and now it will continue to turn left until I press uh, right thrust, okay, which I'm going to do shortly here. And notice how when I started that left turn, I dropped down to 149 fuel. So now let's press right thrust, and you notice the ship will stop, okay, but I still expend one unit of fuel. Okay, so now I'm going to press. First of all, let's go ahead and since I'm getting a little low there, I'm going to go forward thrust, which will expend four units of fuel because I'm only at one thrust power, which I'm going to explain thrust power in a few minutes here. Okay, so now my ship is going to continue drifting. Now, this is forward, so whenever you press the forward thrust, your ship will do a burst of thrust forward, and you will continue moving forward until you either hit stop or uh, reverse thrust in which it will start reversing okay so now let's go ahead and do a right thrust and watch what happens here right thrust one unit of fuel expended and I'm turning to the right or clockwise and also I'm continuing moving forward in, in the direction I went when I did my forward thrust because uh, the ship is thrifting so uh, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop the rotation shortly. Let's let it go. It, it, what it's going to do is going to wrap around. Okay, see? Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit left thrust to stop the rotation. So, uh, left thrust, rotation stops. Okay, so now I'm still going uh, in the direction of my last forward thrust maneuver because I never stopped it from that... Uh, from that direction yet okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the thrust power to two okay now which it'll move faster but it will expend more fuel units so let's do it here and notice how it expended I had 142 there okay so now I expended uh, eight units of fuel double the fuel to go at thrust power two rather than thrust power one but I'm also moving along faster so say if, if I'm trying to line up with Avalon, you know, on the bottom right here, you see the mini-map, uh, home planet Avalon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, let's see, I'm going to let it keep drifting forward, and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to turn it, if you look down here in the mini-map, I'm going to do a, a slight turn to the right, okay, stop right there. I'm going to drop to one, and I'm going to hit forward. Now, notice how I just changed my direction. Now, I'm getting, I'm going to be getting close to uh, Avalon. Now, I'm just going, I'm no longer turning. I'm just going straight in the direction that, that I had, uh, was traveling in when I pressed forward thrust, okay? So, um, the highest level of thrust power is three, okay? So, if I go on three, and I hit forward thrust, now, notice I went from 128 to 116, so that right there burns 12 units of fuel so basically you got four units of fuel per thrust 
power that you want to uh, go at. So you can decrease your thrust power as, as, as you can increase it just by pressing the buttons here. And all this, like I said earlier, can be done with the keyboard. Commands are all right here, okay? So if you prefer to use the keyboard, you can use the keyboard. Okay, now, this is the reverse thrust. So I'm gonna hit this and it's not gonna stop the ship. What it's gonna do is it's gonna go in reverse. Let's see, watch, let's go right here, reverse. There we go, reverse thrust. Okay, now, say if I'm traveling along at, just say three thrust power. Okay, let's let's increase it here. Now I'm going three. Now see, I want to slow down my reverse thrust speed. I'm not going to go forward. I'm going to decrease this down to one, and then hit reverse again, and there you go. Now I'm going to slow it down. So, which works the same way if you're going forward. Now, this is the full stop button here. So, uh, let's go up a little bit. So, full stop is going to expend quite a bit of fuel. And then watch, we're at 92 right now. I'm going to hit full stop, and all the thrusters are going to fire off, and my ship is going to come to a full stop, regardless of which, if you're turning or if you're going forward, backward, or anything. Hit it, full thrust right there. So, now what it does, you get your full stop, and now I'm at 84. So, uh, that took away, I believe it was 8, if I'm, if I'm correct. Now, let's try it again. Right, so it went from 80 to 72, so full stop is, is expanding 8 units of fuel, so be careful uh, when you use this. And also, keep in mind that you want to be very uh, careful of how much fuel you expend, because when you run out of fuel, you'll have to either get fuel from a tanker, or hopefully you might have a, you know, a refinery um, constructed or whatever, which is right here that'll generate one unit of fuel every 30 seconds and you can build those on planets or if you're using shipbuilders uh expansion then maybe you might have a ta tanker here which can also generate fuel as well but um you just want to use your fuel uh very very carefully because take advantage of drifting you know just let your ship drift along if you have to and if you have to wait a little longer then do so but keep in mind you, you got to watch your, fuel, your food as well as your fuel so if you have a if you have a lot of fuel then you may not you know want to be so careful you might want to go higher on your thrust power because you may have less food so just keep that in mind and um now down here is the warp out button which is very important button okay so in order to warp out, you, you, you can select an unknown sector, which is basically set. just a sector that, that you have no information on. It's, it's going to just warp you to an unknown sec sector. Okay, then you have other sectors here. Grand, set. which is a grand space station, will be present in these sectors. Destination Asteroids, set. outposts, trade, Destination industrial, Destination shipyard, Destination service, Destination planets, Destination or station. Set. Okay, so depending on what you looking to accomplish if you're looking to do some trading you might want to go to our merchant uh, sector which is basically a trade sector so uh say like if you want to go to uh, um say an asteroid sector for instance set. because i want to mine some asteroids so i'm going to hit asteroids nav set. sector and i'm going to press warp out Initiating warp sequence. now red light I starts flashing the warp sequence has warp. been initiated and Three. it's starting the countdown Two. One. Engage. Notice abort, because you can abort any at any time Jump while it's counting engage. down. Okay. Beginning system cooldown. Now you enter system cooldown right after you Nine. had finished jumping to Eight. the new sector, Seven. which this will be crossed out Six. because you cannot warp out Five. right when you jump um, to another sector without the cooldown Three. phase completing. Two. Okay, so. One. Basically, as I mentioned, the abort button. Parameters. When you're doing a countdown to warp out say like if you hit your countdown you're like oh wait a minute there's a ship here i would like to try to open up a colony before I leave. well you can hit your abort button but when you do that what happens for system reset. is um Five, when you when you hit that four, it'll four, just eight, uh <clears throat> what happens is when you hit the button reset. it'll start a countdown you know so you'll enter your cooling phase even though you're aborted 
Let me let me explain it right now. Since we're about. Abort sequence. Okay, now watch. We're gonna hit abort. Abort sequence aborted. Stand by for system reset. See a system reset. Five, so it's gonna flash blue, four, and it's gonna do a five second three, countdown. And when it's reset, two, it'll say all systems one. online. Abort system reset. You see, it's Jump been reset. And your warp drive is available, so now you can reset again. So just keep that in mind as well. And um, this will conclude the ship movement and navigation tutorial. So I hope you all uh, en enjoy this tutorial. And be sure to view part two, which will be planetary exploration tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.